that hole in the wall. Got anything to patch this up? Uh, pepperoni or sausage? Pepperoni. <laughs> Otter, do you think this milk is spoiled? Let me see. Looks good to me. Doing <laughs> all right? As we agreed upon, the other half, when Omega House builds its tennis court where this thing used to be. <laughs> I think the house is trying to tell us something. Huh? Dean Wormer, who are you? Building inspector. I'm getting lost. I was here first. This building is a structural hazard. This building is a health health hazard. Structural All right, hazard. get out, you two nitwits, and get out of my way. It's Wormer. Let's start doing something. Dean Wormer, what a very pleasant surprise. We so seldom get visitors on cleaning day. Cannon Stratton. You clowns don't fool me. Stand aside from that stairwell. Well? Does this conform to the report presented to you by the Panalytic Council, Inspector? Or do you want to see the bathroom? No, sir. No further inspection will be necessary. <coughs> I don't need to look any further either, sir. Good, then we can leave. And if any of you clowns can read, I suggest you take a look at the writing on the outside wall. You have one week to make this place safe and hygienic, or else we plow it under. But, sir! Safe, sanitary, sparkling. You hear me? Yes, sir, loud and clear. Loud and clear, sir. Good. I think you boys realize the significance of what Dean Wormer is asking. He is asking for us to clean. Oh, no way, man. Oh. Let's look at this realistically, guys. Now, there are certain conditions of human nature which are immutably and irrevocably true. Some people, like pygmies, for instance, are very small and can't play professional basketball. This <laughs> is the will of nature which all pygmies must accept. Other humans, like females, can't throw a baseball. Their collarbones are too long. On the other hand, our species, the deltas, can't clean and make houses sparkle. Our collarbones are too short. Face it, guys, we are physically and mentally incapable of cleaning. This is as our creator planned it, and this is the way it is. Therefore, we need help. You mean? Exactly. A house mother. Oh, that surrender! Oh, how can we live with ourselves? I can't! <laughs> I don't suppose you people have thought about money. After that uh, Sewers of Lima party last week, we have absolutely Zippo in the treasury. House mothers cost money. There is a certain class of house mother who will work simply for the love of being around bright, lively college lads, a roof over her head and a crust of bread in her mouth. I've asked Mr. Einswein here, our chief engineer and mathematical specialist, to come up with a rough estimate of the amount of money we need to buy material and personnel to fix the stairwell, the windows, plaster, things of that nature. <clears throat> He's come up with a figure of uh, $18,623.92. Um. <laughs> oh. If we want to do just enough to get by the inspectors, 
$536.74. We gotta come up with that money, guys. A delta without a delta house is like a fish that has fallen from its nest. Like a cure without a sickness. Like a tool without a box. Like a cat that is out of the bag. Like a hamster without a wheel. Lotto's right, guys. Yeah! This is our house. I mean, this is where we eat and we sleep and we play and we drink and we eat and we play and we drink and we study sometimes. $536.74. We'll never be able to raise that much money. And Kent, 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 Kent. I'm surprised at you. So surprised, in fact, that I'm going to make you Grand High Commissioner of the $536.74. Uh, no, Congratulations! Wait, I can't do that. That's now your sole responsibility, Kent. But, Otter, please... Good luck. We also need a Grand High Commissioner of the House Mother. Oh! oh a man who's willing to look for that perfect woman. A woman who'll warm our hearts and grace our gatherings. Give us <clears> that <throat> woman's loving touch. Oh! oh, oh I could oh, do right that. Right. I think the man for the job is... Right here. Right here. How about me? I can do it. Really. Stratton. Oh! oh. Come on! Sleepy, 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 Hey, wait a second. Hey. Uh, oh, boy! Five hundred and thirty-six dollars and fifty-four cents to go. Oh, it'll be a cinch. <laughs> okay, our next applicant is Miss Gretel Kremp from South America. Miss Kremp's hobbies include mountain climbing, bird watching, and... Interrogation. <laughs> Any questions, guys? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, what part of South America are you from, Miss Cramp? Argentina. Aha. Uh -huh. Have you had any other experience in the field? In the field? Nine, only behind the lines. <laughs> uh, strictly these dormitories. During the war, I was personally in charge of an exclusive men's camp from Bavaria. Well, thank you, Miss Cramp. Danke schön. Amigos. <laughs> that much closer. Go ahead, Flounder. You got plenty to spare. It's for Delta. $531.54 to go. Come on, Flounder. There's another blood banker on the corner. No, no. Guys, what do you say? Let's give her a little air here, huh? All right, good. Uh, well, I'm ready to work for you. Good. Great. You guys have any questions? Yeah, I was going to ask you. Um, of course, I'm just really delighted to have this opportunity. But there's something that I should tell you. I don't do windows. Windows? Who needs windows? There's nothing to see outside. Or floors. <laughs> floors? Why bother? The floors work fine. Or stoves, or the laundry, or, let's see, dusting, or getting the little cracks in the bathroom tile, or uh, wiping up stains, or getting the hair out of drains. Oh, well, sounds good to me, guys. Who? Sounds great. <laughs> It was my great-grandfather's. He got it from India. It's a star sapphire with diamonds around it set in pure gold. The Prince of Calcutta gave it to him. Pinto, should I pawn it? I don't know, Flounder. It's a family heirloom. I know. It's your decision. Anything for Delta. Six dollars and five cents for that ring. Five hundred twenty dollars and forty-nine cents to go. Is Irish coffee better at linen or rayon? Linen. Hey guys, listen to this. Listen to this. Right here in the Favor American Big Seven department stores is sponsoring a strong man contest. The entrant who can lift the most weight wins five hundred dollars <laughs> and a trophy for his club town or fraternity. Well, what's what's thing? Thing? What are we gonna lift? You? That's right. perfect. It's perfect. Now all we need is a strong man, someone like. Uh, Wow! You call
called? Congratulations, Grand High Commissioner of the $536.74. You have served us well. Now, how about you, Grand High Commissioner of the House Mother? Are there any more applicants to be interviewed? I don't know, Hoof. None of these applicants seem right. We need a woman who fled Europe in search of a better way of life. Got changed trains in Philadelphia and got off on the four stop in the Harrisburg line. And who, with all of her worldly possessions in a carpet bag, walked out of town and down quiet fraternity row? Where she spotted a well loved but run down house in need of something she knew only she could give. A woman who. Hello, I am Verna Margolevsky. Kolchoy, Blenstock, Varastov. You have perhaps need of mother of house? <laughs> Douglas, need a Meyer to see the dean, man. Go, go right in, please. Uh, uh. Good morning, sir. Don't be too sure about that, Niedermeyer. Those deltas are going to enter that Blutarsky fellow in the Big Seven weightlifting contest. And if they win it, they'll have the money to put that shack of theirs back on its feet. I want you and your smart little Omega friends to make sure they don't. I want you to make sure Omega House wins that money. But, but, weightlifting, sir? That's a sport for immigrants. Need I remind you, Dean Wormer, that Omega favors only those athletic skills that require a manicured lawn, polo, sir, croquet, golf, tennis. Among us here at Faber, there is a transfer student on an animal husbandry scholarship from the University of Melbourne. His name is Wade Klingham. And he just happens to be Australia's grand national down under weightlifting champion. Mr. Wade Klingham will lift for Omega House at this contest. <laughs> An Australian? <laughs> Dean Wormer, you know we don't accept people from the Southern Hemisphere. He can't be an Omega. Douglas, Douglas, Douglas. After all I've done for you, you won't grant me just this one little favor. <sighs> Why, we've been hunting for someone to fill our Commonwealth quota for three semesters. Thanks for helping us fill it at last. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that I should see popcorn wasted in such a way, while even now in old country is already popcorn coming. <laughs> What are you doing? Don't eat that popcorn, kid. You're in training. Get in the kitchen. Yes, sir. Delta Corps at your service, ma'am. Go easy on him. It's the collarbones. You understand. Good luck, ma'am. Hello! <coughs> Mr. Broom, are you ready? Ready and willing, ma'am. Mr. Sponge? All set to go, ma'am. <laughs> Miss Ammonia? <laughs> Mr. Dustcloth? Mr. Beater? Mr. Music, please. Hey, okay, Mrs. Margolevsky. Good, good, good. All together now, okay? Please to begin the music. Rises. <laughs>
Russian peasant festivals, but I thought you'd all like to know that the Omegas have got themselves a ringer. And they're entering him in the weightlifting competition. A ringer? Do uh, you mean a real weightlifter? Mm-hmm. And he's on Channel 12 right now. Television, where's the television? 416. <laughs> <laughs> Turn on Channel 12, we've got competition. Keep pressing, Lotto. The Australian wonder has just lifted three co-eds on a surfboard. While the crowd stands and applauds, he prepares for his next feat. The Australian is now lifting a sheep, a full-grown sheep, and placing him on the surfboard. He's now adding a second sheep to the surfboard and will lift the surfboard with two full-grown sheep. No, wait. The crowd is truly going wild here in our studio way as the Australian Wonder Man is adding a third sheep to the surfboard. Can he do it? He can. That guy's Superman. Blotto will never beat him. Yes, I will. Of course he will. What's a sheep but a bunch of wool? This guy can't lift with Blotto. This is too easy. Someone sit on the TV set. Louder! I'll get hurt. Maybe. <laughs> Relax! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I shall now proceed to lift this full-grown TV set Plus, this pleasingly plump young man. <laughs> what happened? My back! Don't move! I can't move! I can't move! I think it would be a little bit better if you got off the TV set, and then we'll take the TV set off Blotto. Yeah! <laughs> careful, careful with that. You all right, Blotto? No. This happens every couple of years. A pulled muscle. I'll be all right in a week or two. Lotter, the contest is tomorrow. I guess that cooks it, Hoof. Ships, television sets, such problems in old country. Excuse us, please. Uh, name Six. and group. Name Six. and group, please. Venda Margolevsky, by your Russian. That's Delta. She's the Delta entry. Hey, wait a minute. You can't enter a, a woman in this competition? Oh, but, sir, this woman happens to be our house mother. Don't clown around, Hoover. You have to enter a Delta. Where does it say in the rules we can't enter a woman, Delta? That's right. She's as much a Delta as he is an Omega. Under the rules of admission, she just doesn't qualify. What are your rules of membership? Rules of membership. Rules of membership. According to the Charter of Delta Tau Chi, a Delta is defined as any person residing, inhabiting, or living within the confines of the confines, the terrestrial zones of habitation, including but not limited to members of favorite college community, their immediate families, friends, relations, pen pals, dependents, employees, employers, legacies, and associates. What is that thing? But, uh... That's everyone. That's right. Yeah. Delta. 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 The next contestant is Wade Klingham for Omega. Koala. <laughs> Kangaroo. <laughs> Aborigine. Get him away. Get him away. That's three times more weight than anyone so far. Did it 
done it. I know I could have. Don't feel bad, Lotto. You would have won easily. It's not your fault you were injured. Come on, let me see a smile. There, that's better. Lie down. I come from a long line of chiropractors. Final contestant is Venda Margalevsky from Delta. Check for five hundred dollars, oh. courtesy of the Big Seven. Way to go, Jim! Delta House will continue in a moment. Remember, now I fixed the stairs, but you lads clean up the sawdust. Dee, how about a little working music? Can't. Mrs. Margolevsky took the balalaika. Besides, doing it without her just wouldn't be the same. So what happened? Who knows? We haven't seen her since the competition. At least she could have done what said goodbye. As if on cue. <laughs> Mrs. Margolevsky! Hi. We couldn't leave without we say goodbye. Well, why don't the three of you come in? <laughs> Hey, guys. Hey. 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 hey! hey! Say goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah. Listen, we couldn't leave without stopping by and telling you the good news. What? Big Seven is sending us on a promotional tour. And then, I'm taking my bride here home to the Outback. Goodbye! <laughs> 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 hey. 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 You drop me on the line when you come to Melbourne, OK? Oh, uh, sure. And uh, this, uh, this is for you. Oh, Miss Margolevsky, you shouldn't have. Ah, babe, this only trophy I need. <laughs> oh, babe, babe. <laughs> you, uh, you be good boys, okay? All of you. Do svidanya. Do svidanya. Ciao. Bye. 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 Bye.